It's with absolute great pleasure that I introduce our next guest. Kind of an interesting story for someone in the distilling industry. Uh, an absolutely wonderful new brand that's going to be in everyone's living room or at everyone's bar in the very near future. Uh, I want to introduce Cheryl Lee, who is the founder of Rockabella Brands, which is a vodka, a whiskey, a flavored vodka, and some other unique products. Welcome to Food Farms and Chef, Cheryl. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Good afternoon. So, Cheryl, you have a kind of unique story in the fact that you didn't really grow up in the spirits industry, you didn't grow up in the liquor industry, but you have managed to create and now create and distribute some of the most flavorful, unique spirits out there. How did Rockabella Brands and your products all come about? Where did they come from? From my kitchen. I started, yes, I started creating. Um, drinks, mixed drinks in the uh, beginning of the 1980s. Uh, you know, we used to have, I'm from Jersey, we used to have a lot of uh, parties, a lot of showers, uh, birthday parties. And uh, I just started creating um, all mixtures of drinks uh, with uh, natural fruits um, in a white styrofoam bucket. That's how it started. And just, um, it was a passion of mine. And then, um, you know, I just was, just taking care of my children and my children were going to school. You know, my husband was working and stuff. So um, when my husband uh, became ill in, you know, 2014, I started, you know, taking care of him. And then in 2019 is when um, I decided to uh, create my own brand. You know, I, I laugh when I hear that story because as a, you know, young you know, late teens, early 20s, when we would go to the beach and, and every summer, I'd be the person who was tasked with forming that cocktail with, you know, grain alcohol or a little bit of vodka and lots of fresh fruit and all natural stuff. And I never thought, well, maybe someday I can make a living doing this. But you did exactly that. So, you know, credit to you on that one. What products do you manufacture? And, and uh Tell us a little bit about the, the profiles for that. So my award winning, uh, this is my first, uh, the coconut mango pineapple. Uh, it's uh, gluten free, all natural, distilled in Florida, citrus distillery. I won double gold on that. And then I have my pre premium vodka, which I just won double gold on. It's distilled six times made with corn. And it's uh, a very private corn. Then I have my uh, flavored cocktails, uh, which is the, um, I have the Delightful Shirley, which is pomegranate, honeydew melon, Asian pear, peach, and apricot. Then I have my uh, Royal Goddess, which is called strawberry, um, kiwi, and mint, raspberry, kiwi, and mint, excuse me. Then I have the Secret Escape, which is the pomegranate, blueberry, watermelon, and then I have the Rock of Paradise, which is a 5% uh, cocktail with coconut, mango, and pineapple. And now, I as a chef, my... I listened to one, your vodka right off the bat. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, I can create some foods with that. Like, what an amazing ceviche base that would make if I took some scallops and some shrimp and things like that. And, you know, you really capture some great uh, flavors in doing that. I, I understand you're also coming out with a whiskey brand. Yes, I the, I have a whiskey. It's called Jack's Whiskey. It's caramel apple, and that is dedicated to building a safe haven for animals. And that's named after our dog Jacks that my son adopted. Well, that leads me into you know a, a a big part of what you're all about and what these products are all about. So you took what was a very difficult situation in your life and then this early success of your product line and you turned it around and formed an amazing charity that's doing amazing things and the proceeds a lot of the proceeds of the sale of your products go towards um the you know your charity tell us all about that and and yes. what's going on so, what are you doing to help people and who it benefits and you know right. how it so, came about yeah so i'll start off with um my husband, uh, who had his own legacy, um, you know, not only was he a firefighter and, um, you know, at a roofer, but he was um, 
a great humanitarian guy and he always was giving back to the community. And my husband, besides uh, running a Christmas drive um, for less fortunate children, children with cancer, uh, children with disabilities and within the uh, St. Barnabas Burn Unit, he also worked with the Special Olympics and um, he also tried to help uh, young children uh, get stable in their lives. My husband was a 9-11 first responder and in 2014, um, he, he became, he was extremely ill for many years, but in 2014, after the Christmas drive, um, he could no longer do it anymore. And he was uh, just, um, you know, getting very sick. And he asked my son and I, if we would take over the Christmas drive for him. And we promised him that we would. And, you know, I really didn't know what I was getting into because we were helping him, but he was really running it, you know, with the firefighters. So, um, we took over the Christmas drive and when we took it over, there was uh, 2,300 children. And in 2019, we brought it to 8,000 children. Wow. And my son and I and firefighters in the community, we all came together and um, we brought it to over 8,000 children. So every January I used to get me mentally and physically um, exhausted because I would always go beyond um, to the extreme of uh, making the holiday is very, very special for these children, especially that my son would take care of the less fortunate. I took care of the children um, with special needs and the children with cancer. And my son also would do the Boys and Girls Club. And I became very emotional and stuff. My son was like, mom, you need to do something for yourself now. You brought the Christmas drive to, a, to an extreme level. I can handle it. You could take a back seat and I need you to, to take care of you now. So he walked out the door and um, I'm sitting there and I'm saying to myself, what can I do? I make uh, teas, I, um, I do all these kind of creations that are unique creations. And I created uh, Rockabella, but at the time I was using somebody else's vodka. So I said, well, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna use my own. And um, that's what happened. I went to Citrus Distillery in Florida and he got the, he got the mixture perfect. Um, and then I started from there and I, my launch party was in February of 2020 on a Thursday. And that Monday they closed down the state. Everything was closed down because of COVID. And I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? You know, I have my charity. So I have the charity Rockabella Gives, which is uh, building um, a better tomorrow for women and children, but also giving back to our first responders, which is the police officers, the firefighters, the military, and also the janitors, because they were very essential in the pandemic with a hands-on approach. So I started um, with Rockabella Gives. Um, I started um, getting meals out to nursing homes and to hospitals. And I was taking care of the nurses and the janitors. And um, I just started calling up restaurants and all over New Jersey and just asking them to deliver to different places and to please take pictures. And they would uh, do that and then deliver uh, to the hospitals and the nursing homes. And then I would hand out masks to the elderly at the stores. And Rockabella is um, you know, something that I'm passionate about because I know I can make a difference and I can make it grow and help, you know, women and children, but, you know, and, and families. Well, you know, in full disclosure, you and I have had a conversation about Rockabella. And the one thing that came through with me that I really want to convey is your absolute passion. You know, so many people build businesses and when it gets to a certain point, okay, you know, I'm going to sell off to Smirnoff or I'm going to sell off to another company or I'm going to do that. And I know from a conversation, I can feel secure that that's not something you would ever consider because you are doing this for a much greater cause than just making a vodka or making, you know, a spirit or, you know, making some money. This is really about helping others. And to me, your story just resonated so deep. So, you know, kudos to you um, as an obvious, you know, big supporter of first responders. You have a great story. Your you. husband's legacy was honored at uh, by the PGA. Can you tell us a little bit about that? 
Yes. Uh, well, first we were, we were on at the Meredith Vieira show. They um, contact us, which is a great Christmas surprise. And they had Hasbro donate $20,000 in, in toys to us, which was fabulous right after that. And then we were contacted by the PGA and they wanted to honor my husband. And my son and I, along with uh, police and firefighters, um, presented um, the, uh, what is that called? Uh, the, we walked the line and they put a big, beautiful video up of my husband and we presented the cup and the three presidents were there, uh, President Clinton, Bush and Obama. And it was a very, very beautiful ceremony. It was very, very touching. Um, it was just a very, very amazing experience that they would even, you know, think about honoring my husband with all the other um, heroes that had passed. Well, absolutely. Well, what a great honor. But, you know, you don't discount the fact that you are a hero in your, in your own way and what you're doing and, you know, supporting the first responders and, and those people who every day go to work and, and sacrifice. And, you know, every year at 9-11, I try to read a little bit more about you know, stories that went on and, uh, you know, I have my own and, and everybody has a story, but, you know, what, you know, what they did as they were driving across those bridges from, you know, New Jersey, knowing that, you know, this could be their last day and, and everything that took place with that. So, you know, your story of helping that, those families and keeping that legacy is amazing. So, Thank you. You know, Rockefeller is every, everything that I create has a mission and a purpose behind it. And uh, that's what it's about. Yeah, obviously. I mean, you have a whiskey named after a, you know, the dog that, yeah. you know, helps, you know, dogs and shelters and, and other things, which, you know, as my dog is prancing around right now, I can, you know, certainly get behind and, and really believe in that. So, you know, it's wonderful to have somebody who's creating a product for a cause. Can so, I jump can I jump in sure. for one second? Because I met you at a celebrity um, boxing match and one of, and to re like bounce off of what you just said, um, Jean, when I met you, like, you know, you introduced yourself obviously, but then you introduced what your, you know, your brand was. And immediately you went into like what it benefited, like why, you know, the story behind it, your husband and, you know, how he was a first responder and that it benefits other first responders. So, yeah. and like, you just were so passionate when I met you and you've carried, and that was before you had your, your brand launch, um, you know, and it's just continued to carry on and into, you know, you've now launched and you're expanding your brand, which is amazing. Um, and, you know, I, I've seen that you've been at other events and, and whatnot. So I, I would wonder, like, where else are you, you know, bringing your, your brand out to? Where can, you know, where can we find you at events and at you know, places and donate to your, to your cause? Right. So um, you can go to uh, Rockabella Brands. I'm sorry, Rockabella Gives .org. Um, You can also uh, go to Rockabella Brands. Uh, dot com and you can also donate um on there um and then it, you know right now we're just regrouping everything um and like i said you know due to the pandemic a lot of the events that we had scheduled um how to had to be canceled um because we had our list was literally over 500 people that were coming and so now what I'm doing is I do everything individual. Um, everything is with a hands-on approach. Um, as, as far as what I do with my donations, um, I give everything directly. I give them to the widows directly. Um, and to me, you know, it's just very, <laughs> I get so emotional. Um, when I go to these events and I meet these people and, um, it just touches my heart because I know you you lived you lived it twenty four seven. I mean, you know what it's it like. It takes to one be, person. Yeah, it, you know, it, it takes one person to make a difference. Like my husband was that one person, and um, you know, so when I go to these events and I meet these people, and um, 
they want to they're willing to help and they open up their hearts and they and and they open up their lives to me it's it's very important and like you know the pandemic i could have done more it slowed me down but it didn't stop me i've i could have done more but now this is the time for me to really get out there and to show everybody what Rockabella is about, not just Rockabella brands, but what Rockabella gives is about. And um, 2022 is is going to be the year where I'm I'm out there and I'm and I'm giving and and making a difference in people's lives and and these special needs children and you know and these cancer kids and making their dreams come true and helping you know these young women and children knowing that they're not left behind, that there's someone there willing to help them put food on the table, shoes so on for, their feet. For our listeners, I want to point out a couple things. Rockabella is R-O-C-A-B-E-L-L-A. In addition to that, if you go to the Food Farms and Chefs Facebook page or the Food Farms and Chefs Instagram page, you will find out that there is a tasting up in Bucks County of Rockabella this Thursday evening from five to seven. Um, so you have an opportunity to come up and try some of the products as well as you know make a donation if you wish, but really learn much more about what's going to be the hottest brand in the region in the very near future. Cheryl, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you. We look forward to having you back with us again real soon to Thank talk you. more about some of your other exciting things that, that you have on the horizon. I give you deep heartfelt thanks for making a difference in the world and also creating an incredible product uh, that is really something unique, full in flavor, you know, no sugar added, great product. So kudos to you for that. We look Thank forward you. to talking to you again real soon. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I greatly appreciate it. No and problem. God bless. God bless you too. And well, thank you for joining us. Thank you.